Hi guys, it's me again. You want to pull it back a little bit? All right. I didn't know I could have done a part two. She <laughs> <laughs> this is Lisa. This is a young lady. I just to give my chair. Um, new video I just did about shedding. Don't panic. So she had so much new growth. I move very fast and very lightly with the clients here that I didn't know she had so much new growth. I thought, you know, it's, it, it wouldn't be looking halfway done. And then in four months, I'll show you guys the follow up. But she had so much here that we was able to, we was able to fix the whole thing. Right? See? Mm -hmm. She only has one area right here. These are the, the two locks that was really skinny. But if you look right here, I call it a nub nub. I put the new growth back into it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that grow out. I'm not adding full. Plus, I don't work with silliness like that. Full locks and all of that. Plus, she has, since she was a kid, this was her, this is her tender area. For some reason, the hair right on this spot, because she alien. The hair, <laughs> the hair right on this spot glows, grows very slow. And, you know, when I'm doing it, I have yeah, to be very gentle. It's a tender spot. Right, but the rest of her here, it there it is. That's all the new growth. She had so much new growth, it was able to go back into the lock. Right, um, my hand a little shaky because I have a migraine, so it always makes my whole body shake. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, yep, and the bottom. You guys remember how the bottom? This is another area right here. Right, I'm just gonna leave it when she comes. The more new growth she comes with, I'm gonna add it. It's not about it looking neat right now. Let me tell you already. It's not about it looking neat right now. It's just getting it into place right there. See in it, right? So this was her hair. Her hair is just like my neck. If you look in the in the thing, my hair is actually done because I wanted to show her. I'm going through the same exact thing she is going through. Though I do locks and I am who I am, I'm still human. I go through some shit too. My point is this in part two is this is just to show you what happens when your hair sheds and you leave it alone, right? You give yourself at least three four months if you can go longer can huh? if you could go longer even better all right whatever technique you choose to use knock yourself out I would have liked to braid her here do the braiding technique we do when we were in Trinidad mm -hmm. but I couldn't do it because I don't want to pull too much of her new growth okay to, to put too much tension in it but um, it's funny while we were sitting here she actually looked back at the video I just posted and she was like damn Yanni I didn't know it had all that hair because you know she was feeling it like they're thinning out you know and look do you mind if I turn them around and show you look at her monkey would you move like even people wait dang. <laughs> you see how beautiful her hairline is right look at the side of it it's not about neatness the hairline her baby hair, I leave it right there. I don't snatch that back. I tell clients, if you're here too short, your new girl too short to go in a lot, guess what? That should stay right there. I ain't touching nothing. But I like to see people with a full hairline. You see some people in hairline all the way in the back here, like a whole tobacco afro, and you just, it, it just, it, here. Your hairline is supposed to be here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they got me delusional and that's crazy. <laughs> My head is like pounding. Alright, so that's what I want to show you guys, okay? Um, uh, oil to use during this time, castor oil and um, all the, the wild growth oil, okay? Um, a little spray, don't forget your rose water. Do not spray, those of you now joining this page, don't spray water in your hair. Spill H2O. And I know people leave this post saying, well, in, in rose water, water to know it's not. H2O is H2, that's pure water. Once you put something in the water, the chemistry changes. So it's no longer water. With roses in it, it holds the moisture better. You can make your own rose water. Please don't ask me how to do because guess what? I don't make my own rose water. I buy this rose. I know somebody will ask. I buy this rose water off of Amazon. The only place I buy it. So please don't ask me where else to buy it. I would not know. I buy this off of Amazon. I have Prime, so 95% of my stuff I get it off of Amazon. You can add. Oh, somebody had asked me if you are allergic to, to vitamin E oil. In your rose water, don't use it. Use jojoba or jojoba, however you pronounce it. Okay, it works just as well. Somebody had asked me that. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use jojoba. Um, I like this one. If you have a better one, let me see if I find it. There it is. I like this this brand. This is Sunflower, right? Um, I live in a predominantly black neighborhood. A lot of Caribbean people here, so I get this right at the beauty supply store. It's like one ninety nine, and it's very light. So half rose water, half vitamin E. You do not need to do this every day. I spray my hair with this like twice a month. But, you know, if you want to, fine. It's just, a, it's just to keep your hair moist. 
And that is it. And I am not going to see her before. Do you have a picture of your hair when it was short? Oh. You need to send me that picture I so I can post this up. I still, in this mirror came, she had knocks right by her ears. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nub nubs. <laughs> <laughs> nub nub ups in the nub nubs. All right. That's it. So I hope you guys like this video. Again, don't panic if your hair is shedding. If you're, this is, if you're watching part two, don't ask me questions until you go back to part one. I'm not trying to be rude. It's just, it's kind of ridiculous. People ask me the same questions and I talk a lot. That's the Trini and me. We talk a lot and I explain things. I'm not trying to be talkative. I just want everybody to know themselves. Just go back to part one and take your time. If you could watch Empire and, and where's that other show people be watching? With Olivia Hope and all that foolish. Yeah. yeah, you could watch my videos. Like, what the heck? All right? And there's always some shenanigans going on, so you're going to laugh anyway. You're going to get to be entertained. So just go back and watch my videos. All right? Before you ask me the most obvious question that's already in the video. All right? Anyway, I love you guys. Have a good one. Pray for me with this migraine today because I promise. When are you going to be in Orlando? In Orlando? When? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Babe. <laughs> Alicia said you should travel. I know, right? Y'all know this every time y'all see oil. me that there's another brace on me. Y'all know what this is? This is from doing here. I now have gulper's elbow. This is something I had to buy because this whole elbow is killing me from doing here. We're not talking about that. I wear a knee brace. That's not to get something for my hair to us. I had to get carpal tunnel and tendonitis. That means I can't be traveling. <laughs> and I add black castor oil to my rose water. Hey, if that I wouldn't do it, but if that works for you, that's a little too heavy for me. But you know what? I learned when it comes to locks and listening to you guys or reading your comments. If it works for you, knock yourself out. Because what's for some for somebody will not work for someone else. And if that works for you, fine. Okay. Anything else? I can imagine a smile in her spirit. Oh yeah, looks, yeah. <laughs> looks, looks awesome. I know, right? Thank you. And you may see a little buildup in her hair. I know some of you have seen it. Um, this is from, she was using wild growth oil. Wild growth oil leaves a kind of buildup. It's in a good way. Now that her hair is longer, I will be able to give her a detox the next time because her hair was too short for it. So now I could give her um, a real detox and soak her. All right? So it's not stinky buildup. I know somebody be like, her hair don't look like it washed. No people like you. You're just rude. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, that's it. She needs to leave, and I need to try to get rid of this headache. Love you all. Bless. Alapia.